The first thing you're going to need to do is download Betacraft Launcher. I've left you a link in the description. Once you get to their website, this is what it will look like. Download the correct software for your operating system. You may get this error, but that's fine. Just click OK and it'll redirect you to the Java website where you can download a new version of Java. Once that is finished and installed, you'll be able to open Betacraft Launcher, type your name in, and click play. If you have Minecraft installed on your computer already, just type your username and it'll load your skin into the game as well. Now by default, it is set to Beta Minecraft, but you can select from many different versions of Minecraft. Here's InDev. And if you would like to try some mods, that's easy to do. Just click Edit Instance, go to the Mods Repository. There is a large list of mods you can choose from here, so let's check out InDev Plus, and once you open the folder, you can see the many different versions. Let's get the newest one. Then you click OK, and technically you can play the mod from here, but we should probably update it first. To do this, you need to go to the App Data folder on your computer, click Betacraft, click the Versions folder, and here you can see the InDev Plus mod jar file. Highlight and copy its name and move the jar file to a different location on your computer. Then you need to go to the Legacy Plus website, link in the description, and go to Downloads. And click here to download the newest jar file. Move the jar file to the folder we just opened, and then rename it with the name we took from the old jar file. You cannot have two jar files in here under the same name. That's why we have to get rid of the old one, but it's a good idea to keep a backup of your old jar file just in case things go south. And that's it. That's how you play old Minecraft. I hope you guys have fun. Stay golden.